hello friends welcome to our uh, next schedule in this schedule we are going to learn about the uh, fundamental analysis and technical analysis we are not going deep into it but uh, i will give you the outline of uh, both the analysis and uh, i will explain you which is used for what purpose generally uh, coming to the first uh, analysis it is a fundamental analysis so to basically uh, to become a fundamental analyst uh, we need to understand the financial statements uh, majorly that we have to understand the financial statements that means the profit and loss statement balance sheets cash flow statements which are published by the companies uh, from time to time quarterly they will publish it and annually they will publish it which is an annual is an uh, whole uh, four quarters uh, statement will be released and uh, quarterly they will release their quarterly performances and everything uh, if you have heard uh, the news you will know that quarterly results uh, month, uh, of yearly results annual results like that we are going to hear about that at the end of the financial year we are going to uh, get the annual reports that's after March because our financial year starts from uh, April and ends in the March of the next year I will show you some uh, charts also yeah, I mean some uh, financial statements also and I will show you uh, the link how to check those uh, statements also so as I explained uh, in this fundamental analysis if we can interrupt correctly interpret uh, correctly then the future their future plans their strategic investment ideas uh, which is uh, given at the start of the page uh, they will give the uh, statements of the um, chairman statements of the MD uh, interviews with the CEOs and everything will get those in that uh, we have to follow them so uh, with this uh, we will get a basic ideas uh, what is their investment uh, process and what they will do in the future and uh, future plans and everything so uh, uh, we'll have some effects uh, while uh, choosing that uh, this I uh, will uh, clear in uh, next uh, uh, schedule but before coming to that uh, we'll see this uh, balance statement profit loss statements cash flow statements initially if you observe uh, uh, I'm showing you the money control uh, which is a best website uh, for us uh, to check it uh, freely uh, I'm taking the example of uh, TCS as usually to get a clarity so if we click on this uh, I will get uh, the Tata uh, TCS Tata consultant service uh, details if you can observe here this is the price of uh, price in uh, Bombay Stock Exchange and this is the price at National Stock Exchange Uh, yeah, and some may have doubt that uh, there is some uh, difference yes there will be uh, some difference in the uh, market always uh, sometimes uh, there will be a much more uh, difference and sometimes there will be a general difference uh, some people will try to grab this uh, uh, thing also uh, they will take the risk of two days and uh, they will try to grab this uh, differentiation that is a uh, very much uh, different uh, trading that I will explain uh, I think that's not required for us because uh, that is very much uh, advanced level of uh, trading okay let's now we'll see if we see in the this left hand side we can see many options uh, here you can see the announcements uh, this is also comes under uh, take fundamental analysis only because uh, whatever the announcement corporate actions uh, means they are going to buy back the shares uh, means upgrade regarding the buyback of some approximately 7 crores uh, of equity shares they are going to buy back with fully paid amount means uh, this is very uh, good uh, means the company is uh, posting very good strong results so they want to get some uh, hold on to their company so they are buying some shares back 
uh, this shows the sometimes this shows the companies and thing but uh, remember guys uh, this is buyback action uh, doesn't imply or directly that company is a strong position but generally we'll know that TCS is a strong position that's why I'm saying it's a, as a regular word but we have to observe other parameters also whether uh, they are buying back because uh, they are strong fundamentally strong or uh, they want to show some uh, effect on the share price that we have to observe uh, keenly uh, before uh, going taking any action here we can see all the announcements by, made by the TCS with the dates so uh, from day to day we can see if we see this section uh, for any stocks which we are uh, tracking then we will get general idea of this market peers means uh, TCS uh, competitors are who are uh, generally in the market itself say like Wipro, HCL Technologies, Infosys, Tech Mahindra all of these are peers so by that we will know the same related companies which are uh, quoting in the stock market and if we see uh, how they are changing and how TCS is performing we will get a basic idea and uh, whether we are giving a good uh, whether it is giving a good or bad uh, uh, implication in the market we will understand when compared to the peers all together peers and this company will becomes the industry like IT industry IT sector that is the sector okay we'll see the now we'll see this corporate action this is also a fundamental thing uh, we need to understand see based on the date uh, on uh, 10th July they have uh, published the quarterly results and they have intimated the uh, interim dividend see here uh, before uh, thing also on 15th June they ensured the buyback of shares 19th uh, April they have announced the audited results and uh, full dividend plus uh, bonus F dividend means full dividend see here third interim dividend interim dividend almost every quarter they are giving dividends so this is very fundamentally strong company and uh, every quarter they are getting so you think this is a, a very good option good bet for any uh, investor who is uh, coming into the market initially can go for that right from see from 2004 almost every year uh, they are giving inter dividends and uh, when coming to after 2006 2007 almost uh, every quarter or two every two three quarters they are giving the dividends interim dividends full dividend see final dividend see almost this is a very very good uh, track right if we see the same uh, with the another company in the same uh, to understand uh, I'm showing Wipro see Wipro we got the same see here the difference is very much uh, less In this we'll see the corporate action see uh, when compared to that uh, TCS the dividends they are uh, issuing generally yearly only twice but still it is also continuously giving a dividend so it is a good uh, thing right uh, if we take uh, fundamentally weak stocks some uh, weak stocks are there J Prakash Associates I uh, will see this once upon a time this is a uh, uh, best performing uh, uh, so, uh, scrape now it's a uh, uh, very uh, uh, low it's quoting at very low price uh, it's almost uh, coming back to 5 rupees going back and everything see almost 52 week low is uh, 10 rupees and high is 27 rupees but uh, I know it from uh, 50 70 rupees also I'm seeing it falling back so we'll see in the corporate actions see 
see here if you see this uh, quarterly results and this there is no dividend at all from uh, 2013 right till 2013 it has given a very good uh, dividends but uh, after that they have no dividends because they are performing poorly so don't uh, think that uh, previous uh, history they are issuing uh, dividends means uh, they will issue continuously but it indicates that there's strong growth we have to observe the other parameters also but it gives an a base uh, it gives an outline that whether the company is previously how they are performing so we can see test for at least uh, one year if we it's giving good returns good dividends then we can continue we keep on uh, getting the profits and if we keep on investing the same thing and going on then it will give us a good uh, returns see and uh, as per our strategies and our uh, 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 strategical plan and uh, investment plan we, we should have that then only we can decide uh, which stock we have to invest how much we have to invest it right uh, if we have 100 rupees we can't invest 100 rupees in one share directly that means if that shares performs poorly then we are going to perform totally in our portfolio will perform poor so if we invest like 10 percent only in one stock if even one stock or 10 two three stocks also performing poorly will be dragged by 30 percent but uh, other uh, 70 per seven types of stocks means into 10 percent like example i'm saying then uh, it will not drag much so 70 percent of the stocks are uh, taking you upside so that's how the balance uh, of the mark in the balance of the portfolio will happen so we'll spread the portfolios so in the portfolio means uh, where we will hold uh, different number of stocks uh, different different uh, for uh, companies uh, stocks so on the overall those stocks performance will give us our portfolio management or our portfolio performance so let's say example if i hold a tcs i hold icic bank i hold a sbi bank i hold a vipro or uh, if i hold uh, some canara bank or if i hold uh, j prakash associates and i hold uh, iocl like that see if i selected from different different sectors and if then sectors um, performing well even uh, performing the sector uh, thing but the, the company may not perform good so we have to uh, always uh, check that very much importantly so next uh, we'll go into the financials see here we will see the financials here we see the financials we'll see the uh, annual reports everything but see here the financials will see the balance sheet see there is a standalone and a consolidated consolidated means uh, overall uh, picture they will give in the standalone a uh, general uh, before uh, Uh, see here they here uh, what is the advantage with uh, these websites is that they will give our uh, last uh, five years performance so we can compare how well they are good uh, they are performing see all these are in crores only so don't think it is as 191 uh, simply like that this is 191 crores right this is the assets they are having this is the tangible intangible so here we can see all the things uh, like what majorly we have to observe in this is i will show you once right wait yeah here you can see the equities and liabilities shareholders funds equity shares right here we have to see our uh, total non current liabilities and current liabilities are also very much important so that see here uh, there is no uh, huge growth in our liabilities 
see if you observe it's only 3000 crores of liabilities has been increased but if you observe where it is in current liabilities only they have increased but uh, non-current means uh, previous one which is uh, so see we have to see the interest how much they are paying whether uh, how they are uh, utilizing these funds we will see it in the company's info alerts and uh, in the corporate actions we can see that how they are uh, utilizing those terms long term borrowings is very less they have increase in the long term liabilities not much uh, improvement in long term liabilities so it is uh, very good other current liabilities uh, will be a uh, very less and uh, see if we see this um, here the total current liabilities are 17,800 crores but uh, their current total assets is more than 1 lakh so it is almost 10 times it is showing right or uh, if we say this is the current liabilities total current liabilities total current assets are 81,000 crores so it is much more better than almost four times uh, it is performing good so this will show the strongness of the fundamentally strongness of this company I think you get the uh, basic idea about this so here you can see the bonus details I mean this is the amounts uh, they are paying uh, as in a bonus means uh, interim dividends dividends and everything so you got the basic idea of that so we'll go to the profit and loss statement see here we can see total revenue is uh, one lakh uh, three thousand some change crores and they have expenses of seventy one thousand crores means here we can see the because this is also very much important we have to see because uh, depreciation we can leave it and with financial costs employee benefits expenses see out of 71,000 crores they are giving for employees only 51,500 crores to the employees only and here if you see there is a growth in the employee benefit also means they are expanding good here if you see 15 16 they almost doubled the uh, employee growth rate and the cost of material consumed is very much uh, decreasing and operating and direct expenses and uh, this is uh, also very good see here operating and direct expenses are much more than compared to this year because initially they have some expenses like uh, establishing an in entity and everything the automatically this will shoot up but uh, no need of uh, worry about that right uh, before tax this is the thing so total tax expenses they have only 6000 crores so after see if it is in brackets uh, then it is a loss so if it is not in brackets then it will be indicating a profit that's uh, very much important so here see basic eps means earning per share it is per share almost they have earned 131 rupees see right dividend uh, equity share dividend is 9284 tax on dividend they have paid 1442 crores so equity dividend rate is 5000% 5000 percent they have dividend ratio has given so that's very very pretty much good if I I want to invest this is uh, my first uh, preference share it is uh, my first uh, preference I will give definitely so next coming to in another uh, thing here we have quarterly results see here 
the same will come here but here we will see only a quarterly growth rate so this is a long top bet so friends i think don't need we no need of seeing quarterly half yearly nine months nine monthly means this is a this is a first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter will comes with a yearly results directly so we'll see cash flows i think we don't need any development uh, kits and everything to see all these things so in this uh, website it is a uh, free so we can see compare with any companies so we'll get a uh, easy understanding of our uh, selected stock uh, performance because uh, they are doing our work i think uh, it's much much uh, easier for us right that's why i choose uh, so these websites so i'll get this all consolidated statements and everything simply they'll give us a best so here you can see the cash flow yeah cash flow is for uh, how much they are using so foreign exchange gains 94 crores uh, net cash user fund finance from financial activities is 26000 crores operating cash flow they got uh, 21000 crores in net cash used in uh, investment is around 5000 crores so net increase in cash and cash equivalent is 488 crores So the cash flow has been increased which is very good right cash flow decreasing means uh, they are going on uh, much more uh, ex uh, expanding with type of business or uh, uh, this depends upon the company to company if the cash flow is increasing that generally it's a good indication right here the see the cash flow has been uh, netting is very less but here they have utilized a much more uh, thing so how much we'll see in investing activities they have invested almost 15,000 crores right from financial activity from financials they have chosen 10,000 crores so this is how we have to see this uh, statements so we'll get a basic idea so we'll go to the ratios see ratios will give us basic idea about, uh, on the performance on compared to shares our share right basic on a uh, earning per share is 131 rupees yearly means yearly almost we earn 131 rupees uh, every share we hold and cash right cash is the uh, this much means uh, if they divided a uh, dividend per share is 50 rupees they have given yearly so this is uh, i think very good right apart from 131 rupees uh, we earned another 50 rupees here 47 rupees 43 rupees here 79 rupees is 32 rupees so almost every year they have the dividend per share is approximately 40 plus which is very very good right we are earning apart from the appreciation of the uh, stock price this is an extra bonus we are getting see this uh, ratio is revenue from operations means uh, whatever the profit from operations they got they divided per share how much it they got this is how much what they got right uh, net profit per share is 132 rupees almost uh, near to the basic uh, earning per share so net profit margin is 25 percent total debit versus equity is uh, not given here i think very less to asset to turnover ratios liquidity ratio so if you have any anyway doubts on this uh, you can google it ebidt means uh, earning before income tax and uh, depreciation assets everything <coughs> here it is market capital by net operating revenue percentage right price versus book value this is bv means so it's a book value uh, price versus net operating revenue earning yield is 0 0.05 so these are all indicating a very good thing if you want to learn about deeply about this uh, fundamental analysis and the thing uh, 
for that we have to take a separate uh, classes on that because it's very very deep subject but basically for us uh, this will give a increasing in the basic uh, earning per share uh, will indicate as a very good uh, indication and uh, if we go with the price of book value book value price against the book value this is also showing a very good ratio and uh, next other important is yeah dividend per share see this is also gives us an uh, basic idea whether we have to select the stock or not so net profit the basic uh, per share ratios will gives us a very much idea about that if we go to this uh, capital structure see this uh, here we can see the number of shares see as i explained the show, uh, stock uh, dividends and stock bonus stock share stock split uh, i mean bonus shares and uh, stock splits stock split what will happen is here uh, these many stocks having face value of this much automatically it means uh, each share is divided into 10 10 shares so that's why the face value has been reduced that's why the cap uh, the total number of shares has been increased See, the shares have been increasing because they are giving more and more shares to the market financial graphs I think uh, don't require this uh, of course uh, some may face uh, the uh, flash problem uh, that uh, you can simply click and if you give sorry I'm not getting now if we click right click and we get that uh, run uh, flash then it will simply do the job right okay this is gives a uh, basic idea uh, we'll go with the annual report uh, it's taking some time to load uh, let's uh, see this I think uh, this is not loaded perfectly just a second I'm loading it back right I think it's not loading okay this will give us an uh, overview of the overall uh, year performance this also if uh, you have any problem in reading this uh, financial statements uh, you can see it here also unconsolidated and consolidated ratios revenue other incomes see other income should be uh, very much less when compared should be less when compared to the revenues from operations because they if they are getting from core business uh, the income is more then that is very good right because they are performing good in their core business so so any company should perform better in their core performance core ratio, core uh, area otherwise that indicates that they are weakening in the core area and the company may uh, go into the law run into the losses very soon maybe it indicates the thing so other income should not be more because the other income due to uh, increase in the uh, decrease in the rupees value or some uh, other interests or to uh, assets uh, rentals or something any any other form of apart from their business uh, core business is known as uh, will comes under uh, other income so total income out of total income it is very less so I think it is negligible so we can leave it like that so now take into the operating expenditures depreciations and total expenses so here we'll get a detailed uh, breakup what we have seen in the same itself shareholders of the company is 25,241 people opening balance of retired earnings dividend on equity shares excluding tax 
so it's not included tax after tax it's 9284 crores see here we can see the details they have given about the buyback of equity shares dividend see here based on the company's performance are pleased to recommend for approval of the members a final dividend of rupees 29 per year for 39 in taking a total dividend of 50 per share previous year it is 47 so they have announced in the last quarter 29 rupees so total overall in the all compact adding all the quarterly interim quarterly and interim uh, dividends total it's coming up to 50 rupees so total they are paying in the cash of 6693 crores which includes our dividend tax and the dividend tax is paid by the company itself and we don't need to pay that whatever we receive is after dividend tax so this is the company performance in their view and uh, human resource development how much they are developing and whatever they are uh, planning so this uh, will give us an idea about what is the company's plan what is our company is doing now and everything so this uh, helps us uh, understanding the company on a whole right so it will be a very thing right so i'm not going deep into it uh, i think you got a basic idea of this right right so here we go to the company info if you uh, people are not knowing about the uh, who are the peers in this uh, thing i'll we can click it here peers will get that see this is the company fact this is the registered address and uh, yeah this is the who is the, this is the chairman and chandrasekharan is a chairman for the tcs uh, executive director independent directors directors managing director and ceo is now rajesh gopinathan so these people may change sometimes so that's we'll see uh, time to time for every company it will change us right so if we see the peers these are the peers competitions which are having in the market and uh, their share price their market capital sales turnover net profit total assets three. so this will give a uh, good idea about the comparing with the peers so we can select other stocks which are uh, uh, giving a good uh, competition or which are giving growth so we can select directly peers here also right so we'll see see i think uh, this website itself will give you much more insights about this uh, fundamental analysis right uh, fund managers means what are the mutual funds and uh, all are holding particularly in this uh, sectors investments means so how they are investing and how many crores so this will give you all the basic idea about the uh, mutual fund companies which are investing right if we click this we'll get uh, how much they are investing in uh, tcs uh, where where they are investing so we'll this access bank mutual fund this is ban peripsy how many mutual funds are there now these are all known as uh, fund managers as I explained in the mutual fund sector, fund managers are uh, authorized uh, persons. They have good thing. See, this is the Axis uh, Blue Chip Fund. In this, they are giving Ashok Leyland 14%, oh no, weightage of 0.8%, right? They have invested 14 crores in this. Bosch, they have previously, now they are not, they have already closed the position of Bosch. HR Motors, Edwin Stack, M&M. Mahindra and Mahindra M and M means Mahindra and Mahindra. See, this is the uh, motor automotive sector, right? This is all they are invested in the um, automotive sector. Means this uh, stock is focused on uh, automotive sector. So this is how they choose in the thing. 
see MRF they have invested 2 crores mid cap fund in mid cap fund they have selected Amaraja batteries as so Leyland Bal Krishna Industries they have sold off the Amaraja batteries now see here they sold out teachers they are not sold out Mother Sumi they have improved uh, their investment means one or this indicates thing MRF that's all gives that uh, if you guys wondered about what is the highest price share which is a uh, thing is MRF we may not expect the price of this stock one share is cost you yes 73,000 some 200 change yes friends you heard it right the share value of the MRF is 73,000 and if we see it year on year from last five years you don't believe how much it has been increased see let's see here uh, in this on 2013 it is approximately at 10 12 thousand 13 thousand now it is almost 80 thousand so if someone is holding from last five years it is almost eight times they have benefited about eight times not eight times it's almost uh, a very 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 good performance by this uh, company right we'll go to the max right this is the maximum we have as of now sentiment in the market is 53 percent buy 23 percent sell 24 percent are holding it but it is keep on performing guys uh, we'll see this uh, in this if we can see corporate actions we'll see how much uh, they are uh, going to give us as any dividends interim dividend final dividend interim second dream dream final dividend almost they are giving like a very good uh, dividends so if we go with the uh, ratios we'll get our dividend per share 60 rupees right 60 rupees and the basic earning per share is 2500 plus another 60 rupees as a dividend 60 rupees 100 rupees and 15 they are not issued any dividend but again 50 rupees this shows again it's a very good fundamentally good stock Uh, that's all about the fundamental uh, analysis uh, but uh, there will be a lot into that like uh, as I said when we have investing into the stock market when we invested uh, we may have faced the confirmation bias anchoring effect and uh, after investing also we may face endowment effect lost ever so uh, this I will all uh, will explain in the next schedule because I don't want to focus on this here I'm only focusing on analysis in this schedule so let's see in that